London stocks fell in early trade on Thursday, taking their cue from a late sell-off in the US amid ongoing trade war concerns. At 0830 BST, the FTSE 100 was down 0.4% to 7,588.88 while the pound was off 0.1% against the euro at 1.1334 and 0.2% lower versus the dollar at 1.3083. Stocks on Wall Street kicked off Wednesday's session in the black as investors welcomed an apparent softening of President Trump's stance on China after he suggested he might use the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. to monitor the country's investment in key U.S. sectors, rather than implement tough new measures aimed specifically at China. However, the mood quickly soured after White House economic adviser Larry Kudlow said in an interview with Fox Business Network that Trump's announced plan did not signal a softened stance. It's not meant to be harder or softer, Kudlow said. It's going to be very comprehensive and very effective at protecting our technological family jewels in the United States. There are no major UK data releases due, but investors will look to the two-day EU summit that kicks off later in Brussels. With the UK dragging its feet over the publication of its paper on the UK-EU post-Brexit relationship, which is now not expected until July, no progress is expected on any major issues surround the UK exiting the EU at this meeting, said London Capital Group analyst Jasper Lawler. Instead, the EU is expected to give a stern and fierce warning to the UK over its lack of progress on major issues, such as the Irish border policy. With the clock ticking and no deal Brexit is looking increasingly more likely, which makes it almost impossible for the pound to make any serious headway. In corporate news, transport operator Stagecoach was weaker after it posted a drop in full-year profit as it took a £85.6 million hit from the loss of the East Coast Rail contract and cut its full-year dividend. Hello Oil gushed lower despite a positive update which saw the group lift its production guidance. Retailer JD Sports Fashion slipped even as it said it continues to be on track to deliver a full year in line with consensus market expectations. BCA Marketplace lost ground despite reporting a 19.8% jump in full-year revenue and a 17.6% increase in adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization. On the upside, Shire was the standout gainer after a group of Takeda pharmaceutical shareholders failed in their bid to try to block the Japanese company's $62 billion takeover of the London-listed biopharmaceutical group. Green King fizzed higher as it said the World Cup in warm weather helped to revive sales at the pub operator after squeezed household budgets and rising costs contributed to falling profit in its last financial year. Wood Group gained after saying it was on track to deliver growth in 2018 and maintaining its full-year outlook while hunting advanced as it highlighted a strong U.S. performance in the first half, but said Europe and Canada remain challenging. In broker note action, oil giant BP was upgraded to buy at Kepler Shuvo, while Cas Minerals was lifted to outperform at BMO. British American Tobacco, British Land, Burberry, Coca-Cola HBC, International Consolidated Airlines Group, B. Market Movers FTSE 100 UKX 7588.88 to 0.43% FTSE 250 MCX 20770.28 to 0.35% Techmark TASX 3490.47 to 0.34% FTSE 100 Risers Shire PLC SHP 4186.40 P2.24% Melrose Industries MRO 216.5 0p 0.70% Sainsbury, J, S, B, R, Y, 317.60 p 0.44% Diageo, D, G, E, 2722.00 p 0.41% Rolls Royce Holdings, R, R, 964.00 p 0.29% Sky, Sky, 1456.00 p 0.21% R, E, L, X, P, L, C, REL, 1597.50 P0.19% Unilever, ULVR, 4173.00 P0.18% Smith, 